Hey everyone, Phil Midler here with Houston Kiteboarding. Um, we got a request from one of our subscribers on YouTube to make a video on how we came up with the concept for the interface plate, how we manufactured it, and how it interfaces with all of the parts and pieces to be able to use the short slingshot mast on the liquid force uh, fuselage and board system. As you can see, I got all the parts and pieces laid out here um, to show you how to use the interface plate to interface a liquid force fuselage with a slingshot mast flight school system on a um, foil fish or other liquid force board. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take your fuselage off your current mast. There's two bolts that collect, connect your fuselage to the mast. We're going to pull these out using an um, Allen wrench. Um, these bolts are too long to use with the interface plate. So we're going to pull these off and we're going to set them aside. Next, you're going to take your interface plate. So uh, we're going to include stainless steel M8 bolts. Um, they're all counter or they're all countersunk. They all have a Phillips head. You're going to first put in the two longest ones. You're going to put them in to the countersunk holes. Line them up with the uh, slingshot um, mast and put these all the way in. Okay, once those are down snug, you're going to want to tighten them up like so. We're going to put this mast into the extra base. Now because the, the slingshot mast is wider than the liquid force, you can see the two side by side here, um, the slingshot will not fit in the stock liquid force base. So you have to get an extra base right here for the uh, slingshot system. I'm going to stick this in here. Kind of put it in, make sure it's lined up, slide it all the way down until it bottoms out. Now sometimes the flight school uh, masts are tight. What I've been doing, if they're really tight, is I get them in as far as I can, then I actually use the set of included um, bolts to uh, tighten it down the rest of the way. You kind of get them in there and then one side at a time just do a quarter or half turn and get them in. This one fits perfectly so it's no problem. I'm going to tighten these down. Make sure they're nice and snug just like the other side. Okay, once we have that done, we're kind of ready to go. We can mount our fuselage onto the short uh, mast using the interface plate. We're just going to take our fuselage, make sure you're lining it up properly. You can put it on backwards by accident. This is the front. You can tell the base is kind of pointing that way. And then the fatter section of the, the, of the uh, mast is actually in the front. We're going to line this up with the holes that are tapped on the... Uh, on the interface plate. Yep, there we go. We're going to use the next set of included bolts and we're going to attach this. Once again, make sure it's snug. Make sure it's nice and snug. That's it. So now you can see you have your liquid force foil, the fuselage, mounted to the slingshot mast and base system using the interface plate here. This system has been tested in all kinds of conditions. It's very strong and durable. Um, the base plate for the liquid force will easily mount onto the liquid force foil fish as well as any of the tracked liquid force boards. The interface plate is mounted and ready to go. Um, it's as easy as uh, putting in six bolts and then you're all set. You can use any one of the flight school masks with your liquid force setup to get out, learn how to hydrofoil or hydrofoil in shallow conditions. Okay, um, here we have the completely installed system with the interface plate here in the middle, the shiny piece of aluminum. Um, we had some questions about how we made this piece. This is a piece of uh, 6061 aluminum. It was actually machined out of a one inch plate. Um, we had to machine a bunch of parts to get it done. 
the way we did it is uh, just like designing anything, we um, came up with a few prototypes, tested them, figured out which system worked the best. Um, and then we uh, had a drawing, we had to draw it, 3D drawing in uh, Rhino 3D. Um, sent it away to have a hydro cut out of a one inch piece of uh, 6061. They cut, they rough cut all of the pieces. We had um, the bolts drilled, countersunk, tapped, and all of that, and then finally anodized. And that's uh, the final part you see today. Um, these parts have been thoroughly tested uh, by us locally, just riding them with the interface like you see it here. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're using these is it actually gives you an ex extra inch of distance. So, you know, if you've seen some of our other videos, I think the uh, 15 inch mast is too short. This turns it into a 16 inch mast, which is kind of cool. Um, so 24 would be 25 inch, etc. cetera. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, these are going to be available until we run out of them. We have quite a few. Um, you're going to have to get the interface plate here and the base plate to make a complete package. Um, if you've seen our other videos, you know why. That's about it.